Welcome back, you guys. This is your second stimulus check and stimulus package update for Monday, August the 3rd. Happy Monday to you guys, and I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. So in this video, we're going to focus on exactly how we may be setting ourselves up to receive a stimulus check, a second stimulus check that's larger than $1,200, and the progress that was made this past weekend due to a conversation between Congress and the White House with regard to the upcoming stimulus package and how that conversation could lead to us receiving our next stimulus check as well as the reinstatement of the $600 per week federal unemployment insurance benefit. So I'm pretty sure that you guys would love to see a stimulus check uh, larger than $1,200. I'd love to see the $600 per week federal unemployment insurance benefits uh, be reinstated. So let's totally get into all of this. Uh, but before we do, I just want to say welcome back to all my subscribers. Uh, our family has grown to 80,000 subscribers, and I'm really, really appreciative of that. Also, for those of you guys who are brand new to the channel, we cover all things personal finance, investing, how to develop multiple streams of income. So if you're interested in that, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, many of you guys are looking for new jobs and the job market is incredibly tough. I totally get that. And in the previous video, I did my best to try to help a lot of you guys out. So be sure to check out that previous video. I'll put a link down below or maybe above this video, maybe in the description. Be sure to check out that video because in that video, we covered the job opportunities that others have found in the comments. Basically, I asked a lot of you guys to drop a comment below to let me know what job you've recently landed or if you work for a company that's currently hiring to be able to help our community to find jobs that aren't necessarily being posted. So uh, there were hundreds of comments in that video. If you guys check it out, maybe you'll find your next job in there. And also, if you guys uh, want to continue that effort, drop a comment down below if you've landed a new job. Uh, let us know where you're working and, and maybe how you applied. And also, if you happen to be working for an employer who you know is hiring, let us know about that as well. We want to help get everyone back to work as, as quickly as possible. So anyway, this past Saturday, there was a conversation. There was a meeting that took place between Congress and the White House, and there was substantial progress made. Uh, and it was reported that a huge relief bill was discussed on Saturday. And during this meeting, they covered restoring the $600 per week supplemental unemployment insurance benefits and also funding to help schools reopen. In addition to that, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer stated that this was the longest meeting we've had and it was more productive than other meetings. We're not close yet, but it was a productive discussion. Now each side knows where they're at. Now this meeting took place between Chuck Schumer, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, as well as Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and the White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. This was a three hour meeting and a lot of progress was made. Now as of Friday, the Trump administration was willing to extend the $600 per week federal unemployment insurance benefits. However, this was only willing to be extended on a short term basis and the House of Representatives basically declined that offer. They didn't want to take piecemeal acceptances of uh, offers here and there. They're looking for a full, comprehensive, expansive agreement, something similar to the HEROES Act, and it looks like they're willing to hold out until they get it. It appears that the Democrats within the House of Representatives are banking on the fact that two things are about to happen. Number one, you've got the presidential election for Trump between Trump and Biden coming up. Secondly, you've got many Republican members of the Senate up for re-election. Now, if you guys remember, the ball is essentially in the Senate's court. So if it looks like the Senate is basically delaying people getting their money, uh, it, it is a very unlikely event that many of those senators will be reelected. And so since the HEROES Act has already been passed, technically the Senate is actually holding things up at this time. So let's go into how things could be setting up for us to receive at least a $1,200 stimulus check. We've heard from President Trump that he supports a second stimulus check, but not only that, he supports a second stimulus check that was greater than what the Democrats wanted. It's very clear that the Democrats wanted to see a $1,200 second stimulus check. However, President Trump wants something greater than that. In addition to that, we're seeing that the federal unemployment insurance benefits, even though it lapsed on Friday, there are discussions taking place in order to aid negotiators in getting this reinstated. And not only are they looking to reinstate it, but they're looking to make these federal unemployment insurance payments retroactive. And so for those of you guys who are not likely to get your next stimulus check, 
if we can get this reinstated, they will, they will pay you back for the period of time when you didn't receive your check. How does this help us with regard to the second stimulus check? Well, we were expecting to get a second stimulus check weeks ago now, probably actually even months ago now. If they're willing to pay you retroactively for the federal unemployment insurance benefits that have been allowed to lapse, then it's not unlikely to see Trump get his way in getting a larger than $1,200 stimulus check to make up for the fact that this stimulus check has been delayed for so long. It's been said that the Democrats have a strong hand in negotiating and they're exploiting the GOP divisions and that they are expecting to deliver a necessary trove of votes. Now, here's what's really, really interesting. Here we have a Republican president who is mainly aligning with the House Democrats in the uh, stimulus package. Recently, it's been said that the Trump administration could actually move forward with some unilateral action, meaning like they would not require any say from the House of Representatives or the Senate to move forward. And so essentially, national economic emergency has been discussed. If the president were to declare a national economic emergency, he could effectively push forth on his own with a payroll tax cut. If this were to take place, those who are still working would receive a seven and a half percent payroll bonus or boost as a result of the payroll tax cut. However, obviously that's only going to benefit those who are currently working. Those who are not working, you have no payroll to get a payroll tax boost on. The second downside to this would be that the seven and a half percent boost that they would receive would technically uh, be due at some point in time in the future. So ultimately, if President Trump doesn't get support in the future from the House of Representatives and the Senate to effectively uh, forgive this payroll tax cut that he has unilaterally put forth, then Americans would be owing this uh, tax money in the future. So this could technically work, but it could also backfire. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. And so here's the second strong reason why we could see stimulus checks larger than $1,200. Not only do we have presidential elections coming up, but we also have many of the Senate Republicans up for re-election. So number one, from a presidential election standpoint, you have Biden currently leading at 297 and you've got Trump at 170. Now, if Biden were to win, Kamala Harris has a very strong, respectable chance of becoming vice president. Why does this matter? This matters because Kamala Harris has been pushing for a $2,000 per month stimulus check. If Kamala Harris were to be vice president, I think this gives the $2,000 per month a very strong chance of getting pushed through. Now, if you look at it within the Senate, you've got 53 Republican Party members, 45 are Democratic, and two are independent. Now, basically, the independent means that they could vote either way. However, if you look historically at how the independent members have voted, they have typically aligned with the Democratic Party. So I guess we could look at it like maybe it's 40, 47 to 53, but technically it's 53, 45, and two. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Many of the Republican Party members are up for re-election. All we would need to see is five Republican Party members not get reelected and be replaced with five new Democratic Party members. If that were to happen, you'd have a majority Democratic Party within the Senate and you'd have a majority Democratic Party within the House. So that would almost be a monopoly from a party standpoint. You'd have a Democratic led House, you'd have a Democratic led Senate, and then if Biden were to win, you'd have a Democratic president. This could be very interesting if that were to happen. Uh, I would imagine that a number of bills would be able to be passed without hardly any friction. Many of the delays that we've seen over the last several weeks would not take place. As we've seen, the Democratic parties really want to get money out to the people. Uh, this could be a really interesting election coming up. Now, the flip side to it is that, you know, I do think it's a little bit healthier to have a balanced party uh, so that you have effectively, you know, strong consideration from the Republican Party group uh, and strong consideration from the Democratic perspective. Uh, you know, I think that that would be a little bit healthier for the country as a, as a whole. However, it, you know, if we were to see Democratic uh, led House, Senate, and uh, within the White House, that could be a complete game changer. So let me know what you guys think. Also, for those of you guys, like I said, if you're looking for new jobs, you're looking for employment, uh, I know it's hard to find a new job right now. Uh, unemployment is high. Check the comments of this video. Check the comments of my previous video. Many people who have landed jobs have uh, shared where they found their job, how they found it. And so maybe that could help you land your next position. Uh, I'm always doing my best to help you guys out in whatever way I can. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, give this video a like, consider subscribing to this channel, and I'll see you on the next one.